Hello viewers, welcome to our YouTube channel SciFarm. Today we are going to start a new and exciting project about home automation. So if you want this video in Assamese language, then let me know in the comment section. So let's get started. We always dream about controlling our home appliances with our own Android mobile phone. So today, let's make it true. For this purpose, we required a grid board and a node MCU. And a grid board power supply module. We have 5 volt and 3.3 volt output. And a 4 channel relay 1, 2, 3, 4 channels are there for 4 appliances we can use it and a light bulb to test the connections and some jumper cables and this is the schematic diagram of all the connections don't worry if you miss it all the details are given in my website you can check it from there so now connect all the equipments as mentioned in the diagram Now go to the play store and install the blink app. Simply I will open it and click to the create project, give a project name and then select the board as node MCU. connection type is Wi-Fi and then create it after creating the app a opt token was sent to your mail ID keep it for your future use now you can add buttons here each button will work as a switch so I'll use four buttons because I have a four channel relay and in each button name it according to your choice I am naming it as D3 select the digital pin D3 in this case and set the output 1 to 0 and change the mode from put to switch Accordingly, for other choices, I choose pin D4, D5 and D6 and all the outputs are set 1 to 0 and changing the mode from put to switch. Now go to the Arduino official website and download the Arduino IDE. Select the suitable version for your PC environment and then go to the Blink GitHub page and download the Blink library. All the descriptions and links are given in the description. After downloading the Blink library, extract it. and copy this library files to to the part as shown
If you are unable to find your node MCU board in the IDE, then you have to download the additional board as follows. Open the Arduino IDE, go to Files and then Preferences and insert the link in Additional Board Manager. The link is given in the description. Now go to Tools and Board and click Board Manager. Then you will get the Board Manager where the ready boards are shown and you can download the ESP8266 or Node MCU board details from there. Now connect the Node MCU with a USB cable. and open the IDE after opening the IDE go to tools and then port and select the COM port and again go to tools board and select node MCU as the board now open the file Go to example, go to blink, then boards Wi Fi, then ESP8266 standalone. Now you need to change some codes. Here you see the auth token. Here you need to put the auth token, you have already get the mail from Blink, put that auth token here. Some other details you need to change, like Wi-Fi hotspot details that you are using. Here change the SSID, the name of your hotspot and the password of your hotspot. So all configurations are done. Now upload the code to the node mc board after uploading the code again place the node mc in the bridge board and check the connections as well i am using a old power adapter to power the bridge board this power adapter will give me 12 volt DC output from 220 volt AC mains and after connecting the bulb let's give a final test so run the blink app and test the buttons so yes we finally did it.